Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanya Tantoho and today you are going to learn about how to quickly create a content calendar on Canva with five easy steps. So screen and a little bit of snippets in between and we are gonna learn this quickly so I do suggest that you all also get ahead and get your own laptop so that you can follow through what what we're gonna do so that that's just five easy steps in creating a content calendar on Canva if it's your first time thank you very much that you're here and I do hope that you subscribe to my channel so you can also learn more about digital marketing social media freelancing and a lot about work from home this video so if you don't have canva for desktop yet you can go ahead and download it from the website itself you can check on what's compatible with your computer go ahead and create posts first so that's the first step you have to create different posts at least 12 posts if you are targeting to schedule for a month so for example for this one we already pre-created some posts here that are going to be scheduled for um, a client. This is a one-week schedule because they're doing every day. So we are just doing one week for this sample. After creating the sample posts that you want to include in your calendar, next step is to actually put in the captions as a comment. So what you can do here is to go ahead and click on the first video and click this little bubble here to add a comment so in the comment section we can put the caption so make sure For the captions, just make sure that you are in line with your brand, make sure that your CTA buttons are correct. But for this example, we are really discussing it more for a client that's focusing on mental health, anxiety, and feeling good about yourself. So we are not really moving towards a CTA, asking them to follow and subscribe to a certain to a certain post or a certain subscription. So it's really basically just posting inspirational quotes every day. Once you are done with all the comments or all the captions for all the posts, make sure to go ahead and click on the third step for this one. So for the third step, you want to click on the tile view, which is located right here, or the grid view to see how it will look like. What I usually do is to compress the post so I can just see three tiles per on the view so once you are done with that one you can rearrange it depending on how you want it to look like so you have to consider the colors that you use the placement of the colors how do you want it to look like as a whole so we can just go ahead and rearrange things just so we have a mix of colors well, I guess this is a lot better. Okay, so this one. After rearranging the tiles, now you have to go back to the you have to go back to the original view so that you can now plug in the dates. So number four is changing the page titles as the dates. Just make sure that these ones below are the ones that are gonna be posted first. So it's gonna move up like that so you have to put on the date first for the oldest or the last post and then go back up so just close the grid view and then just make sure to start with this so for example this is January 15 of course some considerations for your scheduling of posts you have to make sure that to check on the insights depending on how active your clients are but for this case you have to consider posting every day because that's what the page is all about okay so basically you have all the dates here already now you just have to have this approved 
to the client so what you want to do is to actually share this one and then plug in the email address if the client has canva as well but if they do not have you can go ahead and share your screen while presenting to your client during a meeting so that you can also explain what you want to do with each post so that's the last step already and then we just have another trick for this one if you are working in a team and collaborating with a post you can actually share this one and ask a teammate so for example for us we already have a team available so you can just quickly click this one and then they click and edit so that they would be able to see all the posts again that's the last step so if you are collaborating with different um, writers for example someone else is actually creating the headlines for your post you can easily share canva files to them by just clicking the share button and then just plugging in their email address and then make sure to give them the edit option so that they can edit whatever it is on the screen okay so thank you for watching if you've reached this part of the video i am super super thankful because you actually watched everything and i do hope that this can help you with your clients or with your business because it will save you a lot of time especially if you want to schedule your posts ahead of time so that you don't have to include it in your daily task this would be great for you and it would be best if you want to if you really want to schedule one month ahead of that calendar please do consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this one and you can also follow me on instagram that's vanya tantoko for any questions you can also do follow me on tiktok that's vanya tantoko underscore and i also give out quick tips on how to use social media and how um how to become social media managers on that account as well if you have questions for business you can email me at hello at zstudiosph.com so again thank you very much and have a great day Bye.